All right, so we're almost done with this this one because you know either you got to you don't you know, you have to either you feel like you know I'm going to practice I'm going to learn slowly or I'm going to try to keep playing in time you know so again you can do the uh, the bass one which is now off the chart right it's, it's off the uh, thing I I'll try to get it back on here right there. So this is the bass one, so you're going to play this one. But you're, you're two cages up here with a D-shaped G, a C-shaped F, okay, and um, D-shaped C, C-shaped F, and a G-shaped root, All right? So that D-shaped C is going to be kind of up here, a D-shaped G is going to be up here, right? So to do that, you're going to do the, say, top part of that D shape. So you'll go. All right, and then the C shape, F, all right, is going to be, and you've got to think F, not C now. G-shaped root. That's easy because you can see the root is always top and bottom. So it's uh the C shape but I forgot to do the G shape up here okay so I was playing a C shape pentatonic up here it's not gonna work it works down here but it goes from from um, C to A to G shape so it'd be it'd be uh, see I was hitting the F instead of Now you could hit that F if you know you're doing the G, it'd be like. Kind of thing, but you have to, you know, make sure you, you treat it as such. You're still focusing around the G shape. You know, you can add that in. So that's how that chart works. It brings you along and you know the, the same thing I put all five cage shapes here all right so this is this is the <clears throat> you know you can keep going up and up and up and the minors are different we can play just the minors for this one so it would be a C shaped G okay so that would be here and then an A shaped F right it's gonna be G the E shaped C rather those are just roots right the minors at that point would be would be like an A minor but the root is up here now if we're playing it in C the roots the third one if we're playing it in C because the, the progression is G F C right we have to start the cage from down here, right? The root's going to be brought up one. All right, so it's the uh, C shape G now. Okay, like that, but if we're going to do the minor, it would be like. And then you could take it to the A shape, but I can't play that up here. That minor is going to be G minor. 
okay, G minor shaped two minor. All right, on the fourth there, it's going to be two, four, six. So on the C, we start with a C shaped G would be. And then for the F, it's going to be an A shaped um, F, but we want to do the G minor, so it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? So we're doing something like. It's kind of odd. It's kind of odd because if you look at the first one, what we're doing is we're playing the G minor. Okay, so it's kind of a, a weird progression there at that point, right? So we're playing a C shaped uh, G way up here. You can even capo it or something like that. I mean. I can hardly get the capo on here. I don't even want to put the capo on there because the neck of the guitar, but so um, that's a, that's kind of a strange progression. Now that's a two four six there. Okay, so it's two two four six. It's gonna end on the six there. Alright. That's a hard one to find. It, it's um, two four six G minor, sorry. The G minor there is two four six, so it'd be A minor. A minor would be like here. You put the minors in, and it gets a little strange. All right, sorry, we're floundering around a little bit here, but um, what we've got here, if we wanted to just do the minors here, let me put the guitar down so I don't, I don't kind of like hyperventilate or something uh, trying to get to the keyboard um, we've got the A minor shaped E minor here which is 735 we've got a G minor shaped D minor which is 246 and then up to 2 to the octave again and then we've got a D minor shaped A minor 6R3, D minor's right there. So if you wanted to play the minors at that point, the problem is playing the, the G minor. So we'll substitute the A for there, and we could practically maybe do that kind of thing. So um, if we start on the A minor shape, we it sound like this. It'd go like... can hardly play that and then to the D minor the D minor shaped a minor right up there all right so if we did the same thing back here we get that sound so what we're going to do is play the E there but we're going to play the two minors there watch this it sounds the same that sound that we barely could play up here because you know I'm getting tired <laughs> um, so it'd be like something like um, and then the, 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 the D minor shaped E minor So that's the way it works all the way up the line and I've got all five right there the last one when we can look at that a shaped I could almost get pick this up from down here on my guitar so an a shaped G is here on my guitar I can get it and then a G shaped F is a little tougher shape C of course is easy.